So here we go, guys. This is my fourth diamond candle, fourth diamond candle ring, fourth diamond candle ring reveal video. Um, sorry about the last video. I was kind of upset that I got, you know, the same ring from the last one. But, you know, stuff happens and I'm actually going to end up giving that ring to my daughter when she's old enough. For now, I'm turning it into a necklace for her to wear around her neck. So it's like going to be like a friendship type of thing. So I have all my candles here. I have two more on the way. And um, basically, I'll explain it to you guys once again. Basically, this is a diamond candle. It takes anywhere from, I used to say four to eight hours, but actually it's shorter now because they've been coming at the top lately. See? This one took like two hours to burn. So I guess I'd say anywhere from an hour to 12 hours to burn, depending on where your candle, where your ring is in the candle. They all have a little sticker on it that indicates where they are. As you can see from all of them that I have, they are not in the same spot, all of them. This one took the longest. It was over eight hours to get. This is the ring I got with it. It's the pumpkin chai. It's probably been the one out of all three scents that I've smelled so far, the best one. It's, it's excellent. It's like a pumpkin spice. And then this is my diamond candle candy corn. This is the red one I got with it. Got the same one for this one. These ones only took like two hours to burn as well. And these ones I haven't lit yet. I'm not too crazy about that scent. It's a little... It smells actually more like lemon than lavender of anything. Like it just like a straight lemon. It's more of a summer candle. And we're in the fall right now. So I'm into the warm scents. So yeah. Um, basically after you burn the candle down. Like I said anywhere from an hour to 12 hours. A foil appears. You pull a foil out. And then you unwrap the foil and then you get a plastic baggie. And then inside the plastic baggie is a diamond ring candle diamond that is worth value anywhere from $10 to $5,000. Supposedly, you can also get a ring that's more. I'm not too sure. Everybody keeps asking me if mine are real. Well, I'm blind. I really don't see any markings. I'm not sure. And once... All of these are burnt up and the next two that are coming in the mail burn up. I'm going to be taking them all to an appraiser at once because it does cost money to get your rings appraised, by the way. So that's going to be the deal with that. But I mean, either way, it's 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 fun. It's really it's a lot of fun. That's really why I do it. But here we go. Let's reveal the ring. I like to burn, as I've told you before, the excess wax off of the foil, so it's a little bit easier to open, it's not all gooey or sticky or whatever. So here we go, let's see what we got. Well, I gotta say, so far, every ring I've gotten has fit me on at least one finger, and I'm not saying thumb. I'm saying either the pointer, the middle, or the ring. So, I gotta say, um, I got good luck when it comes to that. 
but I keep getting yellow stones. This is like a goldish, yellowish stone, and I got a red stone. So I keep getting like auburnish fall colors. Um, let me check and see if I see any markings. Yeah, once again, I really don't see any markings, but I also seen a video that the girl didn't see one marking at all, and she brought it to a appraiser, and it was worth over, wait, I think it was $7,000. That's where I came up with the $7,000 number tonight. So, you never know, guys, so just stay tuned, like, subscribe, comment, watch the video, repeat. Um, and if you ever need any coupons, add me on Facebook, Crystal Carter, um, on Twitter, YouTube, holla at me.